cooking up? Hi, this is cooking up. This morning I came through my photo album seeing one very nice glass noodle I ate uh, outside Central World Bangkok. So today I try to recreate based on my memories. I always tell people actually food is memories. Yeah. Um, but the only thing is the one in Bangkok they definitely put a lot more oil than I would. So I will see how to get the balance between the flavor and the oil. I will still do uh, put in a little bit more oil also for that particular purpose lah. For I say more for the egg. Um, that uh, stir fry glass noodle is very has very nice eggy flavor, right? And let's take a look at the ingredient here. I have approximately uh, 100 grams of uh, glass noodle here. Good for about two to three adults, small eater. <laughs> Actually, 50. Uh, some some packaging, uh, 50 gram is one piece of glass noodle dried. Yeah. So what I did is, I always will soak the glass noodle using hot water for at least about half, uh, uh, five minutes, at least minimum five minutes. So that to make it, it is almost like about 70% cooked. So that later I don't have to cook so long, right? So you do have to prep your glass noodle. Soak using hot water. That's what I do. Uh, not normal water, yeah? I'm making it almost about 60% cooked, at least. Then we will have some, uh, some garlic, some shallot, and few pieces of uh, uh, chili for garnishing towards the end. And some spring onion as well of course you need the egg at least two here how many pieces of prawn you want to put totally up to you i put six together i think a little bit too much but anyhow this is home cooking i do what i like <laughs> um, and what i did was i trimmed the head i trimmed the leg and also let me show you here better i trimmed the pointy head here and also i trimmed the leg at the bottom then i also uh, removed the vein, yeah, the vein it, yeah. Use the scissor; it's easier to do that. And later, I will, I'm going to fry the prawn to get the nice fragrant out first. And I'll be put using my cooking apa chicken powder because uh, I'll use that to create some chicken stock. Right, once the oil is uh, heated up, I'm putting in the garlic, the shallot. together with the prawn. And I give it a little bit of salt. Let's, uh, I'm going to cook the prawn to almost fully cook, which is somewhere, which will take me about two minutes, two to three minutes. Then we will set this aside. All right, this is approximately about two and a half minutes sauteing. You can also use a deep fryer if you have. Uh, use the use a deep fry to deep fry your prawn also can. Right now I'm going to off the heat and set this or set all this aside. Right, so this is what you get. Set this aside. Already looks very appetizing, right? And uh, actually I removed the excessive oil. Huh? You can actually put in the chicken even before. Uh, sorry, put in the egg even before the oil gets hot. Now you're raising the heat up. And you want to scramble your egg. And you will notice all your egg that can uh, will be absorbed by the oil. And oh, I did season the egg with a bit of fish sauce and uh, white pepper. Right? See, this is almost fully cooked. Go to Put in the white portion of the spring onion here. Next thing is to put in the chicken stock. One bowl, one small bowl of uh, hot water with about one teaspoon of my chicken stock powder. Yeah, you can get it from Shopee Singapore or Malaysia. Then put in. Glass noodle. Now I'm going to give it some seasoning. Let's uh, lower down the heat first. First of all, first of all, few dash of fish sauce. 
a bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, and now we can raise the heat back and mix everything up nicely together. Actually, in, in Thailand, sometimes some dishes they put only the fish sauce to totally replace the salt. I still don't dare to put so much oil. The one in Bangkok is really having a lot of oil. Actually, the flavor is coming from the oil. As, um, especially, especially after you uh, fry the egg, the cook the egg. Let me put in a bit of uh, oyster sauce. It's like making the ch mainland China dish. If you don't dare to put a lot of oil, it won't turn out exactly the same. <laughs> But in Malaysian cooking, we really we are not so used to putting up so much oil. So I have to say today what I did here is a stir fry glass noodle, but not exactly what I ate in Bangkok. Then now we put in the prawns just now. Wow. But it still looks it will still taste really good, let me tell you this. The one in Bangkok is totally very orange, uh, yellowish because of the oil and uh, egg. Now we put in the remaining of the spring onion. Let me clear the table at the same time, kitchen top. And also big chili. Mmm, nice. Super fragrant. Right before serving, I'm going to give it a bit of uh, garlic oil and uh, where's my pepper? Few dashes of white pepper. Done. We can serve. Off the fire. Give it some final feel stir. Ooh, it still looks really good. Mm, could be the best I ever fried. Right, so here's a uh, Appa's fried stir fry uh, glass noodle. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Appa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Enjoy your dinner with your family. This will be Appa's family dinner tonight. Bye-bye!